Hi, I'm Jenny Day. I'm new to CBS 8, but not new to San Diego. I grew up in La Mesa and am so excited to share more of our great county with you. To start, let's talk rides, games, livestock, and fried food. The San Diego County Fair is back and in full swing. The pandemic, of course, canceled the one in 2020 and forced a scaled down version just last year. So CBS 8's Heather Hope has more now from the Del Mar Fairgrounds, truly one of my favorite annual traditions as we welcome you to a new segment and take you around San Diego. We like used I said, to go when we were younger. Yeah, like when them, we were younger. So <laughs> it's all their first time, so. Sister Stacy and Sharon drove up to the Del Mar Fairgrounds from Chula Vista to reminisce on their fun fair days and introduce their kids to the total fried food experience. I think they're going to do the big slide. Yeah. And then I'm looking for, hopefully it's still here, but that donut burger. For opening day, we didn't see the Dixieland band at the front gates like years past, but there are plenty of new acts and live performances like this four-member acoustic band on the fair's Avenue stage. Yosemite Sign Carving Company is back for its 30th year. The small family-owned business makes custom wood-carved signs and is happy to open up shop. It was rough for COVID and not doing the shows, like especially everyone here, because this is what we count on. First day fair attendees found the low crowds and high clouds a big plus for families. This is great. I mean, it's not as crowded as it usually is. It's beautiful out here. The Williams family from San Marcos chowed down on a foot-long corn dog, a plate full of bacon cheese fries, and garlic bread pizza. There's so many things that are exactly the same as they were when I was a kid. You know, like the rocks and the minerals and certain things. It looks like the same exact exhibit, but there's always something different to see, so it's worth coming back. Inside the Bean Crosby Hall, you can let your hair down with this Bella V blow dryer brush. So it's a lightweight blow dryer and a detangle brush all in one. Right out of the shower on soaking wet hair. And look at this beautiful woman's hair. Get a workout on gadgets for your feet or relax with a massage. But before you take a seat, take a look at the telescopic stools. These are our telescopic stools. You can basically shrink them down to make them smaller as a stool, step stool, make it safe your gardening. You can keep things clean with a sweep smart, super fast broom. It's like a handheld Pac-Man for your floor. This Mexican funnel cake costs $30. I said, you know what, throw caution to the wind. Let's go for it. Some thumbs up. Whew, you need 30 people to eat that. So, of course, we know a trip to the fair is special with it being just once a year, but it is still going to cost you. Our Heather Hope also reports now on how inflation is impacting everything from funnel cakes to fair rides. It's just too damn much. Some San Diegans were surprised to see the sticker shock of higher food, games, and ride tickets at the county fair. The tickets were, I mean, that was almost $100 just to get in the gate. The cheapest hot dog is $10 at the fair. A whole supreme pizza costs $50. Australian battered potatoes range from $12.50 to $14.50. We've had to raise our prices because um, our, um, you know, our products are so high to purchase. Business owner Carmel Dyer says the cost of oil and batter has doubled to make her popular batter potatoes if she can even get the products in time with supply chain delays. Also labor issues, you know, people, you know, they've got a hard time trying to get drivers or, you know, even to get the products made. For many vendors trying to make a living after not having a fair in Del Mar for two years, Carmel says the record inflation couldn't have come at a worse time. We are trying to keep it down, but if we if we had the prices that we had in um, 2019, you know, we, we wouldn't be able to survive. The fruit caboose can Sessions has also had to raise prices at the fair. They sell 48 items on their ice cream menu, ranging from eight to $16. We're trying our hardest, but with the price of employees going up and the, the, being not able to find them, you have to pay competitively to get them here. Owner Ryan Newman says the skyrocketing price of gasoline has increased her bottom line. It's all trickle down, you know, gas for me, I spent thousands of dollars bringing four trucks and trailers from Northern California down here. Ryan says fair goers may think vendors are making a killing off the high food prices, but for every $10 she makes, she takes home $2. The sales tax is 10% right off the top. At the end of the day, what I take home from a product is very little. Expensive fried foods aren't stopping some fairgoers from paying the high price. We haven't had any pushback and everybody's been super positive. Anita Reserva is shocked her sister paid double digits for a funnel cake. The price was $13. Are you serious? 
Worth it, right? So again, we know the San Diego County Fair has a lot to offer and some may consider the experience priceless, but given the current times, let's keep talking money. Ariana Cohen breaks down the cost of everything. I'm going to tell you how much it will cost for a family of four at the fair. Today is wristband day for $49. You can ride all the rides every Wednesday and Thursday at the fair. Come on, let's check it out. When you first arrive to the fair, you'll need to park. General parking admission is $15. If you want up close preferred parking, it jumps up to $30. Tickets to the San Diego County Fair are $15 during the week and $20 on weekends. Kids five and under are free. Kids 12 and under are free on Fridays. You can buy tickets for rides online or in person at the fair. Four tickets are $5. Each ride can be four to nine tickets. Want to grab a bite to eat? Turkey legs are $22 each. These fries cost $18. You can wash it down with a lemonade for five to seven dollars. And if you want some bottled water, it'll cost you four bucks. It's ridiculously large. I don't think even the largest man here could finish this. Here's my grandson. This is my grandson's. He's done. This is mine. I'm done. <laughs> And if you want to finish it off with a sweet treat like this cinnamon roll made from scratch. It's the best cinnamon roll that you can get on the face of the earth. I'm sure that we are pretty close to the, the lowest priced item for an original frosted or nut cinnamon roll at eight bucks. You just put on like that, they light up. Before you go, you, you may want to grab a souvenir. Some of these items range from $15 to $50. All our globes, we do have the small desk stands for $50 each, and we have a medium-sized globe for about $65, but they range from $50 to our most expensive item, which is that 12 globe over there, which is $1,200. Some good news, shows like the pig races and dog races are free. If you are a family of four spending a day at the fair, you're looking at a total grand cost of approximately $200 to $300 or more. Country artist Chris Young performs at the Grand Stage Thursday night at 7.30. Tickets can range from $20 to $53. More info is at sdfair.com or cbs8.com. Ariana Cohen. CBSA. Now, Ariana Cohen has been out there a few times since opening day. She shares now her special connection to the fair. I actually worked at this cheesecake on a stick stand when I was 17. The fair has changed a lot since then, and I met with one family that has worked at this fair for decades. From superheroes, parrots, fair food to rides, there's a little bit of everything at the San Diego County Fair this year. Join us at the Hall of Superheroes. Mom's Bake Shop has been a part of the fair for the past 26 years. Yeah, what do you put in these cookies that make them so addicting? And it's because we use like the finest chocolate, the finest vanilla. Um, it's an all brown sugar recipe. Claire! He hand cranks on a 70 year old German press. And they're not just chocolate chip cookies. They are like the best chocolate chip cookies. I, I'm not just bragging. It, it really, uh, if you taste it for yourself, maybe it's not better than everybody's mom because you don't want to be partial, but they really are magnificent. Karen Cruz used to buy cookies here every day growing up, and now she has worked under Gigi's wing the past six years. I bought cookies every day. I came by just to say hi even. She offered me a job and I love it here. She's my go-to girl. Always. She Whenever makes I can. Us everything so happy. She's her ray of sunshine. I try. <laughs> On the Ferris wheel, you can enjoy the best of both worlds. You got the view of the beach and a bird's eye view of the fair. The fair will also have a first time show from the Big Daddy Orchestra tonight from 6.30 to 9 in the Charity Fair Horse Show Arena. We're going to be playing pop jazz dance music, a little variety of Sinatra, Michael Bublé, a little Cool in the Gang, a little Bruno Mars, a little of everything, variety for everybody. No matter what it is, whether you're shooting hoops or divulging in sweet treats, Gigi says you can find something at the fair that suits your fancy. I like uh, there's a certain energy about it. There's a sense of family. Let's see if mom's bake shop cookies live up to the hype. I can already tell it's soft and gooey. 
so good. And you can try these cookies right here at the fair until July 4th. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Moms know best. And we should mention CBS 8 is a proud sponsor of the San Diego County Fair. So as it continues until the 4th of July, Ariana Cohen takes us back out to share a few things at the fair we may not have seen before. It's the first weekend of the fair and I have a little story about how I got this face painting. I met a man named Casey who's been here for 27 years and he said how he got here is all a coincidence. It is all coincidence, exactly. Casey started painting faces to save up enough money to fix his car. My car broke down, I got stuck over there. So there was a rodeo, I set up my paint, I stuck painting people's faces and everybody loved me. That's how I became a face painter. Now he's been painting faces at the fair for 27 years. He's even painted some celebrity faces, including Prince at one of his concerts. And I look back, I see this short guy with a rope, not his clothes. He said, and he was Prince. And I said, oh, Prince, oh, wow, what a coincidence. And when he was on the stage, everybody saw his face. Everybody came to get their face painted by me. Of course, I had to get my face painted, too. Oh, I love it. Thank okay. you so much. The San Diego County Fair, sponsored by CBS 8, offers many new tasty foods to try. The Maui chicken and french fries. I even tried a cinnamon roll. It's the spot. <laughs> And to burn off all the calories, I shot some hoops and kicked some soccer balls while other visitors played water games and jumped on a variety of thrilling rides. All the fun and games don't end there. You can go see many farm animals like cows, horses, and sheep. And we have brought our horses here to show the San Diego County Fairgoers uh, a little bit of a taste of what it would be like to be in the show jumping community and attend horse shows. Once you've covered the whole fair, you may just want to kick back and relax with a feet and shoulder massage. Who knows, you may come back for another round. But Casey says it may just be a coincidence. I end up becoming face painter because it just it was a coincidence and after after a while I loved it. And I just thought, well, Life is better to be with people than to be away from, from people. It was a blessing because I became a painter. Don't forget, guests can check out a behind-the-scenes look at horses and riders preparing for competition. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. Clearly, there is so much to do and see this year. And for animal lovers out there like myself, the extreme dog show is something you won't want to miss. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal introduces us to some of these amazing pups. Well, this is Freebird. She's kind of a big deal. She's one of several dogs featured in the extreme dogs stunt dog show. And what is the best part about this show? Best part of the show is the dogs. We focus on frisbee, tricks, high jump, agility, and dock diving. They absolutely love this work. They go crazy for it. Extreme dogs doing extreme stunts. Trainer Andrea Riggler. What is it like when you hear the crowd get excited when they see the dogs do these great tricks? It's my favorite. It makes me really excited when they get really excited. She says the dogs love it too. The ones that are just crazy right out of the gate, they just get fired up when they hear people cheer. Many of the pups in the show have so much energy, they aren't suitable in regular pet homes. I love the fact that you guys promote rescuing and, and, and helping and adopting dogs that need homes. Yeah, most of the dogs you're going to see here uh, with us are adopted from shelters and rescue groups. So we're just really happy that we get to provide an outlet for them that's healthy, where they get to be their full self-expression, even if it's a lot. <laughs> She says training varies. Some dogs are ready right away. Some need more time. I feel like the audience has the most fun with the dock diving and the dogs love splashing into the water. So that's, that's their like treat at the end of their work day. They can't wait to get in the pool. The crowd today loved every minute of it. Which dog was your favorite? That dog. This one right here. And that brown dog over there. I like the frisbee throwing and the, them catching the frisbees. Would you come back again and see it? Yeah. The Extreme Dog Show runs all month long at the Del Mar Fair. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.
That is so impressive and you can tell just how proud they are. Well, this year there is also an incredible concert lineup. Grammy winning Christian rock band for King and Country already took the stage, but our Heather Myers had a chance to sit down with one of the brothers to talk about their new album and what it's like working with family. I don't know what it's like to be you don't know what it's like to be they have another album out and they're making a stop right here in san diego for king and country is with us one half at least joel smallbone uh, joel one of the songs on your brand new album is called relate and i think a lot of people actually can relate to it can you, can you relate? relate was really this attempt to say hey guys like is it not actually sort of beautiful that we don't see things exactly the same way, that we don't look quite the same way, that we don't vote the same way, that we don't act the same way. And and rather than, you know, leaning into prejudice and judgment, that we actually, on the contrary, lean into a sense of compassion and empathy and even curiosity. We give it to you right here, right now. What does your pre-show ritual look like? What do you do right before you come out on stage? We have these massive LED screens that actually move throughout the night. And we hook them up to Mario it's very serious and we played a game of uh, you know the racing Mario Kart game so it really set us in the right headspace well then I have to ask who won I won two of the laps and Luke won one it's just bringing up a lot of childhood trauma for him you grew up with seven kids in your family but when did you and Luke stop teasing and wrestling each other as brothers and start making music together. Luke, Luke and I didn't get along. So Luke's younger than me. He grew taller than me. He was a better, he's a better sportsman than me. And he sort of rubbed that in, in my face. And, and those are all of the things that shouldn't happen. You know, the younger brother should be shorter. The older brother should be better. And so I really resented him for that. And it was actually, in all seriousness, Heather, it was music that in many ways brought us back together. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. For King and Country is known as a Christian rock band, but a lot of your songs have gone over really well in a more secular audience. So do you ever know what songs when you release an album will have that impact? Music is sort of this universal language that can can reach across the aisle, so to speak, and meet people, you know, no matter the creed or color or country, can meet people right where they are. I know it's June, but I know the San Diego audience is going to be really hungry for your version of Little Drummer Boy. Any chance you'll play that at the fair? If the audience is excited enough at the end of the counting fair, there might be a chance that we'll play a Christmas song in, in June. Might be. So only for an encore. Heather, thank you so much. What cool guys. So as we continue to take you now around San Diego and highlight all things fun at the fair, it's time for the Zevely Zone. Jeff has more on why the fair is a San Diego summertime must. The next time life starts to feel routine, you know where to go. We're getting you a goat. Is that what you want? You just never know. You are so serious. You want to go? What kind of fun? Time's a waste in here. <laughs> just waiting for you at the fair. I go to a milking stand. Did you get to perform for all these little kids? Where else could you do this? First, what you're going to want to do is clean off her udder. She's been hanging out, sitting around. There'll be some dirt in there. Nice to know you. Who wants to milk some goats? With so many willing participants, you have to ask. <laughs> Where, Where else can, can you spoil your, your granddaughter? granddaughter? Where else can you do this? The fair oh, still. <laughs> is a walk on the wild side. <laughs> Where else would you meet? I'm doing Unicycler this. Mark Wilder. Where else can you do this? Where else can you bump into Marcella Lee? <laughs> You're gonna bump into a celebrity. From Marcella to the mob. Where else can you meet Tony from the Bronx? You want some of this? Where else can you do this? Where else can you bump with a camera? You better bring a camera. 
old McDonald had a farm. Because <laughs> memories are for the making. Uh, her name is Janet. Janet. <laughs> yep. You just got to get used to it, build up that hand strength. I have about two tablespoons, and I've been at it for 20 minutes. There you go. You got it once you get in the, in the groove. I am in a rhythm. Where else could you do this? <laughs> Around here, fun just falls out of the sky. Where else can you do this? Where else can you win this? Where else, Where else can, can you, you be, be this, this exhausted? exhausted? You'll need a nap too after all that food. Where else can you do this? Oh, Where else can you eat this? And most importantly, Where else can you get this? When you go to the fair, Where else can you do this? Promise me you'll try something new. <laughs> Goat milk tastes similar to cow's milk. Are you ready? Yeah! In the Zevely Zone, you can only do this at the fair. Yay. Don't you have to boil the goat milk? We may have done a little TV magic on that. Oh. CBS 8. <laughs> what a trooper there, truly. And what a great place to spoil the kids. Again, I take my niece and nephew every year. So we'll leave you now with some history. The San Diego County Fair has been around since 1880, and CBS 8 has been going to the fair since we've been on the air. So in this News 8 throwback, we're going to show you footage found in our archives from 1967 that's been newly digitized among with um, along with midway scenes from 1977 and 1980, you'll see fairgoers of all kinds, along with the fair's goodwill ambassador, Don Diego. You're looking at rare footage found in our News 8 archives of the San Diego County Fair from more than half a century ago. Here's Don Diego posing for photos, as he did for decades, with the fairest of the fair contestants. Actor Tom Hernandez portrayed the character and was the goodwill ambassador of the fair from 1947 through 1984, the year of his death. This newly digitized film from 1967 was shot on Picture Day when the contestants got a tour of the fairgrounds. The original film was shown to viewers in Fast Forward here to showcase all of the fun they packed into the day. On the tour of the Cactus Garden, this young lady got the point when she sat down. Ouch. Then it was on to the Midway for a ride on the Scrambler, everyone laughing and trying not to get too dizzy. Here's an interesting fact. Color technology was brand new for our station back then, and some film was still shot in black and white. This was a transition period. That's why this clip from July 4th, 1967 is in black and white. Around 34,000 people attended the last day of the fair that year. It ran for 12 days, the longest run in its 78th year. It started back in 1880. Attendance topped 400,000, a record. This is the first fair film to be digitized using new technology. So it's amazing to see it so clearly, a window into the past of the fashion, the food, the fun, the old Ferris wheel, and everything that looks familiar, but is also so very different now. Every year they tell us the fair is bigger and better than ever. Well, whether or not it was better this year, we'll leave for you to decide, but there's no argument that this was the biggest expo ever. By 11.30 this morning, the old attendance record of 610,000 was broken, and the turnstiles are still clicking. When all the figures are checked tonight, overall attendance for the two-week-long fair should be around 640,000. It's going to take a little longer to figure out all the other statistics, everything from how many tons of hot dogs and hamburgers and other goodies were eaten to how much was paid for the prize-winning livestock. And there's no way to tell how much shoe leather and energy was expended by all those feet walking up and down the midway and through all the exhibitions and other attractions. Nor is there any scorecard on how many tummy aches were caused by the combination of too many sweets and too many dizzying rides in the fun zone. And would you believe, even as all these weary fairgoers are dragging themselves home, people in the fair management office are already starting to plan for next year's expo? And you know what they say about it? That's right. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. How 
cool to see some of that old footage again. It really does feel like it gets bitter, bigger and better every year. This should be no exception. So certainly hope you join me right here every Friday as we take you around San Diego for CBS 8. I'm Jenny Day. Have so much fun at the fair. I hope to see you there.